one single group was not targeted by this repression. And uh, Ben Ali's regime started uh, using this collective repression, collective, um, when one person is um, targeted as, as, a, as a dissident or opponent, they not only punish the person, they also punish the family, the neighborhood, the um, grandparent, the, the children, everybody around this person is punished. And for me, it, it was a, a shock for me because even if I already have an idea on what is this torture machine, what is this big machine of secret police during uh, Bourguiba regime, but never, never I heard that um, the person responsible of its act is not the only person uh, uh, sanctioned for these acts, the entourage of, of people uh, around this person, everybody is targeted. They would like to uh, introduce and to present to th the world that uh, this, um, this, um, this country is really a democracy. And having uh, dissolved the, the only NGO uh, uh, dealing with human rights was not a good thing for them. And then they had to pay for that. And they understood they have, again, to allow this NGO to, to restart. But, but in between, uh, they, they, they put a lot of pressure on people who are uh, leading this uh, NGO. And, um, trying to do their job in, in a fair way. Uh, like me, like Marzouki, like Ben Jafar, like Khadija Sharif, like all these uh, leaders were targeted, were repressed. This was the main thing I, uh, I suffered during the Ben Ali regime. This repression started in 1992, uh, and it never, never ended until he, he steps down. In, in, until 2011, and um, they used a lot, lot of um, of tools. Um, they started uh, um, with a smear campaign against me, accusing me to be a prostitute, to be uh, a very bad woman uh, who do not have to be uh, respected because. I was supposed uh, to defend human rights, but I'm, I'm really a bad person. 